Today I'm going to show you how you can install a minimum bare bones portable version of Python that you can install on a USB drive or just your hard drive and run it without having to install a full and more complex version of Python uh, programming environments and all of that. So it's just something so that you can run Python scripts really easily or test a Python script or look at an example Python script and that sort of thing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a version of Python called Portable Python. And if you do a search on Google, you'll see there are a number of them. We're not going to use the first couple here, including the one called Portable Python at the top. We're going to use the one down here at SourceForge called Portable Python Download. So we're going to go to this. We're going to click on here and download. So now we have it downloaded. I have it in a folder called Downloads right here. You'll see it says Portable Python 3.0. 10.5 that that's the version number there that will uh, update as they um, update Python and stuff and update this portable version of it but all we're going to do is we're going to run this program right here and it's going to extract all the files into a folder that you that you need uh, so I'm going to install this under C in on a folder called portable so when I go to my folder portable, you'll see it says portable Python. It's extracted everything uh, from the file we downloaded. And so this is it right here. We can copy this to a um, USB drive or just run it off of our hard drive. And uh, I'm going to show you a few things, uh, particularly if you're not used to programming and stuff, and, and we're going to actually test it real quick. So I'm going to, under this folder, to make things easy, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it my code. And we're going to go to this folder right here. Now, I'm going to create a new text document. Now, you see, can see right here, it says .txt. If you don't see that, you need to go up to View right here and go to Show. And we see File Extensions. It's checked here. If I uncheck it, you can see that file extension disappears. So if you don't already have that set, uh, it would be a good idea to do that. Just because it makes it a little bit easier to make sure that you have the right extension on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up in uh, in, uh, note, uh, in Notepad, and we're going to write a simple Hello World program. Make sure you have this typed exactly. It's print, parenthesis, uh, quotation mark, um, Hello World, exclamation mark, quotation mark, parenthesis. Uh, and so make sure you have that typed exactly to be okay. And uh, we're going to save this. And then we're going to go to here, and, and we re need to rename this. So we're going to rename it, and we want to get the ending to. We're going to name it um, just hello. .py, and .py is, um, of course, the Python ending for Python scripts. Yep, we're going to change it. And so now we're going to go back to uh, portable Python directory right here, and we're going to launch the console launcher and then here we're going to go dir and you see this is the directory that we were just in we're going to change it to the directory to my code and look at the directory again and there's our program hello.py and we're going to go uh python and then hello uh, py and this is the way you would run any script and there it says hello world it prints off hello world so that's how you install a um, portable version uh, a minimal portable version of python